Hi and welcome to the Daddy Curbs Garden 2013. You can see I have my raised beds built and ready to plant. Uh, but today, more specifically, I wanted to welcome you to my brand new greenhouse. Uh, I'm excited. I've never had a greenhouse. So this is my first. Uh, it's a 6x8 Harbor Freight kit. Aluminum frame, plastic inserts. Uh, went together pretty well. At the end of this video, I have more or less a step-by-step that you can watch for that but on this particular greenhouse it was so short I added a, a footer wall uh, that raised it up 16 inches so it makes it taller makes the inside uh, more manageable instead of being right at my head so follow me come inside so we're inside the greenhouse and you can see I have uh, two vents that are just you know just simple simple vents with uh, simple latches and uh, not, not much fancy in here, but uh, I do want to show you the bench that I'm starting with. I made this bench out of a, uh, a pallet, an eight foot long pallet. It was laying behind my workplace and I brought it home, cut it up, and most of this wood is from that pallet except for the plywood that's on top. So this is all recycled. It fit perfectly. It worked perfectly. Saved me some money. So you can see my uh, start of my tomato plants and some extra stuff on the bench that is just junk right now but also starting my um, sweet potatoes old school style just like elementary school in the cups with a uh, little water so but I just wanted to kind of highlight uh, my greenhouse I'm excited for this year I'm excited for my garden and I'm glad you're here to join me we're gonna put together this greenhouse yeah, I bought it at Harbor Freight. It's basically a 6 by 8 Looks like it's 8 feet 5 inches by 6 feet 3 inches. Not real big, but it will fit in my garden just fine. And I'm putting the vent opener, window vent opener, on the one window vent that is in this greenhouse. And that is going to be where I um, propagate seeds and put my citrus trees in the winter. So I'm just going to go right in that spot in the garden. There I got the polycarbonate panels out. And all the aluminum frame pieces lay in there. And most importantly, the instructions. Per manufacturer's directions, we made a foundation out of 4x4s. Use the metal brackets on the corner to help square them up, keep them tight. And then made sure the whole thing was level and square and put exactly where we want it. The four pieces called floor plates are just laid in place on the outside. Nothing's attached at this time. A plastic end cap is attached to the top outer corner of each corner post. The corner post will be attached at the bottom to the floor plates. Hand tighten each nut. All right, so the corner posts have their plastic safety cap and they're all attached to the floor plates just with the, the screws, the nut and bolts that come with it. They're all standing up. The side ceiling plates are then with the gutters oriented this way here, attached to the inside of the corner post. Next, the rear ceiling plate was attached to the two side walls. On the angled rear studs attached to the back of the ceiling plate and floor plate, there's a groove. Espen, come hold this. 
there's a groove that the the head of the bolt will slide into that will then go through the hole kind of hard to do with a camera in your hand I think we should bolt it on first and then slide this onto it Okay, don't go too tight. Okay, and then we're going to slide one into the bottom. You got to hold it still, bud. And then... On the second stud, we decided to put the bolt in first and then we're going to slide the stud down over it. Go ahead son. Much easier. That was a lot easier. After the back studs were attached, we put the angled roof pieces on the outside of the gutter. The angles matching at the top. And then on the front, we went ahead and attached the angled pieces. They're not supported right now, but they're attached on the gutters. Then we're putting these corner brackets in. The one nut and bolt that we had put in for that top bracket needed to be taken out temporarily so that this corner bracket could be put in between this top plate, the ceiling plate, and the uh, angle. And then all four nut and bolts to be uh, reinserted. Now the corner braces are in. The crown is on. And we're moving on to the next step. The plastic gutter ends were then put in place. And I did notice because it's not all together exactly yet that the, the aluminum still shifts and bends that the, the plastic... I needed to force the gutters back together to get the plastic to fit. That should be better when it's all put together. The vertical side studs were then installed. Same way as the back stud where you actually had to slide the bolt into the stud itself. Everything right now is just hand tight. The angle braces for the sides were then placed in. And I did miss a step on the last piece for these side bars. I was supposed to slide an extra nut in the middle. So I did have to take out the top one. I just let it slide down and then I put another one in the top. That way that middle piece could get bolted in too. The roof studs were installed the same way as the side studs with the bolts that slide in.
it did ask to install extra bolts on these two for a window support frame and the same thing on this end for a window support frame there's only one window so I think I have that wrong but we'll find out in the next steps front and left doorway studs were put in those pieces really made a big difference in making the structure more rigid the front doorway braces were put on at this point I needed to remove these temporarily these bolts temporarily to put those braces in and the bottom bolt temporarily that really frames up the front it's, it's been good so far to only hand tighten things that way you know for the for the pieces that I had to remove temporarily it was really easy uh, to go ahead and do that uh, without the tools on top of the door frame there's this rail that attaches inside and then on the outside of that was this long rail and it goes rounded side up and it's attached using the bolts that slide into the back of the rail like on the uh, the side studs so there's three uh, that go in there and attaches to this end piece here which is the uh, vertical support which has a little plastic spacer uh, to put that on there. So the same, same nut on the back but a longer bolt with a plastic spacer to hold the top of that door frame. I have the door pieces laid out on the ground and this stands up with the rubber side down and these lay in here and the screws, there's another pack of screws they go straight into the sides doors. There's a, you can see the little holes on the ends. So the screws go straight into the sides. On the bottom of the door there's the rollers. Uh, so there's only one place to put a screw. So they have these plastic inserts that you just slide in there and that gives you another place to put that second screw. And you attach it to the door frame down here. And here's the door frame completely assembled. The roller top for the door was then just put on with these two bolts on the top of the door. Now when this is attached those rollers are going to slide in this rail and on the bottom of the door those plastic pieces that plastic clip is going to slide over this bottom bottom lip of the uh, the floor plate once the door is put on its roller and you make sure the bottom part is attached on those clips you slide it on and you put a bolt in both ends of that top roller plate so that the door won't slide off in the wrong direction or too far well I was wrong there are two windows one is together and that was a bit of a bear getting that plastic that fit in those rails but it did go and the second one it's real easy it's just four pieces all four nuts and bolts have to go in uh, first because that plastic sits on top of it now the head, heads do have to be facing up so that plastic sits on top of the head And the three pieces go together first 
then the plastic slides into it and then that bottom piece is attached to hold the plastic in. The windows are then slid into the crown. And positioned over the section of roof that has your window brace that we put in earlier. This brace here then is slid up into place. Okay, the window was slid in and we adjusted went ahead and put the bracket on I'll show you that but we pulled these bottom brackets up so the window sits right on it on both sides and then we just added the screws for the brace the window brace and the little tab for the brace that way that can just Attach like that. Now that it's built, we lifted the frame off and set it aside. And we are drilling through the 4x4s. And we're just going to pound rebar down through it to help anchor this into the ground. Putting the clip 